Don't say that, Brian. He's just working on your appeal. You'll see. Everything's gonna work out. Huh. I may have been born with my eyes closed, but now I see the world for what it is. I'm a second-class citizen, Lois. Brian, great news. The city council agreed to hear your case. You're kidding. If, if I prepared my case, I might have a chance after all. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, Peter. We're family. This is what we do for each other. Right, Peter? Peter, don't stare. side, if I may, the case of Plessy versus Ferguson. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Why are we listening to a dog? Take him away! But, but, but does not every dog have his day? Wait, please, please. I, I gotta say something. Look, all Brian's ever wanted is the same respect he gives us. Well, you know, that and snarsiness. <laughs> He's rattled for those snarsiness. <laughs> and, uh, sure, sometimes we have arguments, like when he's sleeping on the bed and Moses is in the old day, but Brian won't am um, scray. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Look, the, the point is, he's a member of our family first and a dog second. And, and I'm real sorry I forgot that, buddy. Sometimes we all need a second chance. Sometimes we all need to forgive. I stole $10 from Meg's room. I stole $10 from Mom's purse. Well, Ernie, I I've wish you wouldn't eat cookies in the past for years. Mr. Griffin, a dog is a danger to society. I'll, I'll be even articulate and charismatic one. But the law is the law, and it cannot be circumvented by a pretty word. I'll give you each 20 bucks. Deal, he can go. No. Let him go. Officially on broadcast. 